Okay, uh, we've been working on uh, form submits and uh, PHP. Uh, we've been using uh, the get method. Uh, today we're going to move on to the post method. So the get method puts the information in the URL, which is handy sometimes. Uh, it can make things a little simpler, uh, especially if you're maybe writing a application that interacts with a website. If that website uses uh, a get form submit, sometimes it makes it easier because you just input the information into the URL. But uh, lots of times I like using the post. It keeps the... Uh, the URL a little cleaner, um, but let's go ahead and have a look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say vim, I'll call this post.php, and this will be what we'll be submitting to. <coughs> and we're going to create our PHP tags here, and I'm going to say, um, just like last time, I'll say dollar sign $user, so we're creating a uh, variable uh, called user and it's going to equal uh, dollar sign last time we had uh, dollar sign underscore get all capital this time we're going to do post all capital because so that we're going to be looking at all of the um, submits that are post submits and in particular we're going to say here in these braces or brackets we're going to say look for the post uh, variable of user we'll do the same thing dollar sign uh, phone just like we did last time whoops equals dollar sign underscore post and we're gonna say phone then we're gonna say echo hello or we can just say instead of, we'll just do a different message than last time just to be a little different we're gonna say dollar sign user I'll do can I do an apostrophe yes like this I think so um, uh, users phone number is dollar sign phone semicolon there okay so real quick uh, we've got our PHP tags open and closed saying that everything between this is PHP script and then we're going to create a variable called user and what user is going to be equal is any post submit that, e that has the name of user same with phone. We're creating a variable called phone. Now this doesn't necessarily have to match this. I can call this phone and this num or the other way around because we're creating a whole new variable here that's just based on what we're passing it over here. And then we're just going to echo out uh, users phone number is phone. In this case it will be whatever user and phone number we pass. So I'll go ahead and I'll save that. And if we go back to here to my web server, uh, you can see that we have a post PHP that we just created. So now, unlike the get uh, form where we just put stuff in the URL, we're going to have to create some sort of uh, form for this to submit to. So we're going to say vim and we're going to say uh, post.html. And there are ways of doing this all in one file, which you may want to do occasionally, and I'll get into that in future tutorials. But just like any HTML file, we'll put the HTML tags. In this particular case, if you didn't put the HTML tags and the body tags, uh, and you just put the form, it would work. But uh, this is a little more proper. So now we're going to say form. Close our form. And just like before, we're going to give it an action. So this part, everything in here is pretty much going to be the same as the get, except for one little thing. We're going to say action, and we're going to say the action is wherever we're sending this information, which we just said is our post PHP file. It's in, going to be in the same directory, so all we have to do is type post.php, and we're going to have to give it a method. Method equals, in this case, last time we did get, this time we're going to do post. We're going to say uh, input type equals text. And then we're going to say the name. And the name is how we know when we submit it which variable is which. We're going to say uh, user. And we're going to say input type equals, again, text name equals phone and again there's other types of of inputs and if you're doing a phone number there's actually specific ones for numbers and and calendar dates and that sort of stuff 
Um, and uh, we'll get into that in future tutorials. Input type equals submit. This is the basic way of submitting a form. Soon we're going to be getting to showing you how to submit stuff through JavaScript um, so that you can maybe manipulate the information or check the information certain ways before submitting it. But also with, uh, with the HTML5 and the different types, if you set one to be a number and someone inputs something other than numbers, well, it would warn them when you go to submit that they need to fix that. Also, uh, if you're on a mobile device, it brings up a special keyboard based on what type the input is. Um, but that's uh, something we'll get more into in future tutorials. So uh, type, then we'll give it a value, which is what the button's going to actually say. We'll just say submit in this case. Um, I'm not going to worry about labeling them in this tutorial. Uh, look at the previous tutorial, that's just adding some tags, uh, whatever format you want the, the information to be at. There's also placeholders that we'll get into in future tutorials, uh, but that's once again future tutorials. So here's my post.html, I'm going to click that. I'm going to put in here Chris, and over here I'm going to say 555-5512, and I'm going to click submit. And it says Chris's phone number is 555-5512. Um, and you can see our URL does not reflect any of that. So once again, all depending on what you're trying to accomplish. If you're trying to make that stuff, it's not really secret because any browser now has like a console window like this. Here I'll show you, I'm in Chrome. I hit F12 to bring up this console. And uh, I'll clear this out. If I click Submit, you can see this post here. If I click on that, it tells you exactly what information was submitted uh, and what. And anyone can actually look at the uh, the um, the the HTML code uh, by hitting uh, Control U and uh, oh Control U on the form itself, Control U, and you can see uh, what is what. So it's not really hidden. It's just you know someone who doesn't know any better. It's definitely hidden, um, but. Uh, but it just makes your URL a little bit cleaner, uh, all depending on what you're trying to do. Um, so that's it for, for this tutorial. We're going to get more into uh, form submits uh, using uh, JavaScript and uh, retrieving that information, uh, using, uh, uh, you know, maybe putting forms and the, the, the retrieving of the information instead of having an HTML file and a PHP file separate, have it all in one PHP file. But we're also beginning where we're going to be able to submit information and retrieve that the output without having to refresh the whole page and actually modify the current page we're in uh, using JavaScript. And uh, although you, it's, we're actually probably going to do more with jQuery because it definitely makes it simpler. Um, so definitely look forward to that. I hope you're enjoying tutorials. Definitely let me know if you are. Comment below if you like these tutorials. Uh, give them thumbs up. If you have technical questions that take more than uh, a moment to answer, uh, anything more complex than, than one or two sentences, uh, please visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. Go up to the tab that says social network and down to IRC. At least that's how my site is now. A year from now, it might change. But I do have an IRC channel on Freenode. It's Pound Films by Chris. And um, I'm in there. There's other people in there. Don't come in there just to talk to me. Come in there to talk to everyone that's in there. Uh, I'm in there a little bit every day, but not all the time. Um, so, and also try searching my videos and of course Google uh, before you come and ask a question. Uh, a lot of the times when people ask me questions, I tend to Google their question and the first link is their answer. So please uh, Google before you ask. If you still can't figure out, you know, ask. Also search my videos on my website. I've tried to make it very simple for you to search through playlists and videos. So, um, Go ahead and check that out. I get asked questions quite a bit where I just search my own videos and give them a link to a video that I've already made where if they were just to search themselves, they would have found it without my help. So I thank you for watching. And I'm not trying to be rude there. I just, I get a lot of questions. I also don't really check my YouTube comments on older videos. So, um, so if you ask something, I may not even see your question uh, just because I just, don't have enough hours in the day. I have a lot of videos up and a lot of people asking questions. But I thank you for watching. I try to help you when I can. And I hope that you have a great day.